It's time to check back in with Ripple's XRP and see how it has performed over the past week or so. We're going to be performing some technical analysis and making some predictions on where we can expect to see XRP go in the near future. Let's get into it. How's it going guys, Ryan here and welcome back to another crypto video. We're checking back in with Ripple's XRP and I'm really, really excited for today's video because our predictions have played out exactly how we determined they would. So stick around to see exactly what's in store for us. But before we get into the meat of the video, please remember to leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. And of course, if you want to see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. We cover crypto, investing, stocks and wealth management. And of course, as well, I'd love to know your thoughts on XRP down in the comments section below. But without any further ado, let's get right into today's analysis. Welcome into the XRP chart guys. If you're looking to buy some XRP or just want some free Bitcoin, there are a couple of links down in the description of today's video. But last time we took a look at XRP, we were sitting right here on the 30th of September and it was at about 96 cents for the peak of that day. And if you do recall, we had three key horizontal lines in place. One was a key point of support and two others were key points of resistance. Now I'll just chuck back in for reference that key point of support that we saw. That was right here at 87 cents. And for us, that was worst case scenario, coming back down to that point if we did not manage to break our first point of resistance, which was sitting at $1. Now, thankfully, what you can clearly see is we absolutely smashed that $1 mark. So on the 1st of October, it went straight through it easily within a day and managed to consolidate above that point. On that day itself, it peaked to a dollar and seven cents, which funnily enough was the second target for the video. So we hit both our targets within the space of a day, which is pretty phenomenal. And the reason this was a target was due to the fact that not only in recent history has this been a major point for price action, even in the past, it has also been a major point for that as well. So we really want to see this $1 mark broken and then at least the $0.07 cent mark tested. But what we did see instead was a test and a big breakthrough on the 9th of October where we shot all the way up here to $1.20, then the following day all the way up to $1.23. We are now coming back down, sitting at $1.10, but overall looking extremely good. And I think we can probably take away right now this point of support right here, 87 cents, and focus on what we have in, I suppose, more recent price action cents. So, Right now, key point of support for us is that dollar seven cent mark. If that fails, we're going back, obviously, down to the dollar mark. Now, what we have seen today on the price action is there is what almost appears to be a hammer candle. And hammer candle is gonna represent for us if we're gonna turn or if we're going to keep going down towards that point of resistance or support, sorry. So. If we do manage to see a hammer candle and a breakout, and you know, this short-term downtrend that we're seeing basically in this sort of a sense right here, manages to not prevail, we'll be looking pretty, pretty good. So I'm just putting this one in place so you can see for reference, basically there's a short-term downtrend, a little channel that has appeared and it's trading in this sort of a fashion. If we go down to the hourly chart, you'll be able to see that a lot more clearer. And in fact, I can probably move the lines into a lot more accurate positions in order to reflect that. But if we do go the hourly, like we are here, this almost looks like a bit of a flag pattern. We've gone up and then we're going across, which could be quite bullish. And you can see the price right now is reversing, which is very, very positive. So ideally, what we're gonna see is the price reverse, come to test the top point of this channel and break through. That is the ideal case scenario here. So where could we be going if we do manage to see another breakout? And this will be the target 
for today's video. It's not gonna be all time highs straight away, that's for sure, or I suppose more recent time highs. All time highs are far, far, far up here. We need to get through this price action firstly. I'm gonna put it basically at this point here, $1.24. And the reason I'm putting it at $1.24 is, once again, recent history shows plenty of price action at this point. So we really need to target this $1.24 mark smash through it and then obviously go for the more recent highs of over here hitting about $1.41 if we ideally could. So overall looking relatively strong compared to the last time we looked at this coin. Let's bring in a few more indicators in order to support exactly what we are seeing. So bring in the moving averages to kick it off with. Bring in our three key ones, our short term 20 day moving average, We'll bring in our medium term 50 day moving average as well. Grab that one, chuck it in red to make it a lot more clearer. And of course, longer term 200 day moving average because it's always interesting to see that as well. Now you can see that longer term 200 day moving average is currently sitting at about a dollar. It is moving up and it is moving up quite fast. So that is a critical point of support for us. But more interestingly for me is what we are seeing is our 20 day moving average seeing at $1.02 and our 50 day moving average seeing at $1.08 are looking like they could possibly converge and cross in this sort of a manner. That is ideal, that is our golden cross scenario and indicates in the short term at least, we are seeing a change in trend and we should shoot upwards. That could be a major catalyst for us seeing the price shoot through this $1.24 mark and potentially shooting through the most recent highs that we have seen at the $1.41, $1.40 mark. It is also, of course, possible that could propel us as well further, but we don't know. Remains to be seen at this point in time. These are only sort of short-term analysis for us. So let's bring in some other indicators to help support us as well. MACD, a great one to use. Chuck this one in. You can see that we saw the 12 day EMA cross the 26 day EMA, and we have obviously been trending green. Now it looks like we may have potentially peaked out, which I'm not surprised, but one thing to keep in mind is we're still very low. Very, very low in this perspective. So we could keep going for, I suppose, quite a long more time. Look at this. We've seen big periods of green previously. It can absolutely happen with this coin. XRP has shown it has the strength to do it. So ideally, I'm hoping to see we get these two EMAs to a point which is basically where we saw the previous, I suppose, price action occur and the EMAs got up that high as well. That is ideally what we want to see. I don't think we're gonna see these sort of spikes, but as I say, you can never know in the crypto space. But it looks like it's moving in the right direction. Obviously with the past few days of consolidation, this is flattening out the 12 day EMA. Hopefully we don't see that cross back below the 26 day EMA, but that will basically probably mean we are going back down to test the $1 mark, worst case scenario. Let's also finally have a look at the relative strength index. As you can see, we're still sitting very, very comfortably within the acceptable range, sitting currently at 55.18. So that is really, really good for us at this point in time. Plenty of room for us to continue moving upwards. Both the MACD and the RSI are supporting currently a easy move upwards. And even if we look at the volume just sitting down here, you can see that there hasn't been any massive buying days or anything like that, which has resulted in the RSI and the M um, MACD sitting relatively, I suppose, relaxed. It's still in a position for us to move. Now, just touching back on these moving averages, it does look like that we are seeing this uh, point right here of the 50 day dollar eight being a point of support. It's basically seeing the price today bounce off that point. I think that was also really critical in the spike that we saw on the 9th of October, where the price shot right through it and moved upwards. So that is probably a critical point for us, but as I said, today's goal is 
to hit that $1.24 mark, this Golden Cross is going to be a major catalyst for us moving forward. That wraps up the XRP analysis for today, guys. Let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section below. Do you think we're going to hit that $1.24 mark? Let me know if you've got any other thoughts or opinions as well. And of course, if you did enjoy today's video, remember to hit the like button. And if you want to see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on bell notifications. We cover crypto, stocks, investing, and wealth management. But I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.